Nothing else comes close. Let me tell you about my new hyperlinked textbook that you read with your web browser. Actually, there are two books with about 30 to 40 percent overlap. It requires very little programming skill for the instructor to change the sequence or to substitute other topics. The main idea of the book is customization or individualization. You are supposed to treat it as a dynamic book that grows and contains material as you want it. For example, you edit pages. You can replace pages. You can replace images. You can add your class notes and handouts. You can add links to the internet. And there are lots of templates and help for you. Be careful about how you edit. Microsoft Word helps you too much and turns out a fancy web page with lots of extra computer code that you don't need. I've done most of my editing with WordPad. What I have is a lifelong reference to which I can add material at any time at any place. This shows how easy it is to capture a page from the internet. You may have to add and correct links to get it in the right place after you put it in the correct location. It's equally easy to capture an image. The only problem is that you'll have to look at one of my web pages to see the HTML commands for displaying it. Other professors have contributed excellent PowerPoint presentations, and I would be glad to consider submissions by other professors. Interaction promotes learning. And the Biochemical Engineering book has nearly 60 JavaScript exercises. Some show derivations. Some plot graphs interactively. Some are animations. This game has been played by thousands of students all over the world. Its objective is to devise a recipe in the pilot plant to translate to profits from large production fermenters. There are dozens of simulations. Tinkering with the coefficients is a powerful learning tool for appreciating equations. When you click on a topic, you go immediately to the page for that topic, and from there to the subtopics. The source code for a page goes into a word processing program and the reader sees how to make changes or additions. Thank you for watching.